is mostly going to be Black Friday orders, but I do have um, a little bit to show you first from my secret planner, Santa. Um, if you saw the Sisterhood of the Traveling Stickers haul that I did, um, uh, I think a week or two ago, I don't know how long ago it'll be by the time this video goes up, but um, within that Facebook group, we do a little secret planner, sister, Santa, whatever you want to call it, gift exchange. And so I did want to share what my secret planner, sister, Santa person got me. Um, so I'll start with the stickers because that feels most relevant. Um, wow. We are very zoomed out. So first she did pick me up some stuff from Scribble Prints Co, which I thought was so sweet. I have more of these little gift tags, which I'm super excited about. Um, if you watch my November haul, you know that I got some of these in my last Scribble Prints Co order and I was really um, excited about them, but also kind of sad to use them. So now that I have doubles, I think I'll be more um, excited to use those. And then there is this these what what who are you do you speak english probably not um <laughs> this is the most wonderful time of the year that's what the card says i'm having so much trouble speaking right now <laughs> all right and then she got me two of the winter multicolor sheets she got me these appointment labels with glitter which are absolutely gorgeous i actually don't remember seeing these there's like this particular sheet at um or like in Scribble Prints Co. shop and I definitely don't have any of the winter multicolor um, coloration so um, I'm super excited to have those as well as the movie marquees. I don't remember if I mentioned that I love movies or that I'm like a horror movie junkie um, in my little like survey for her but um, either way she she hit the the nail on the head with these so super excited. The next thing that she got me was this little sticker set from INT Co or Int Co. This is the little cello. This is the little cello and that's like what the shop name is. I've never heard of this shop before so I'm super excited to get to try like a new shop. Um, having major focusing problems with my camera right now um but it comes in this little like file folder which i think is adorable um and this is the author planning simplified kit i guess you could call it or like set um so it came with this little freebie that says like release day and word count and it has books and like little bestseller and facebook and twitter stickers i think that is super adorable um then there is this sheet which has little post-it notes that say edits um write edit repeat just lots of things that are really relevant to my life with the amount of writing that i do um I thought this was really cute. It's a set of deadline stickers, which um, will be really useful when it comes to um, the podcast that I write for, as well as work um, and um, the newspaper that I write for. I have lots of different deadlines, so this will come in super handy. And then this one's is word count, which um, I don't typically write things by word count because... Um, I've been writing a lot of scripts re recently, which is like page count, although now that I think about it, all of my assignments for work have a certain word count, um, and if I ever get inspired to do like NaNoWriMo or something, like this would be super cool for that. So I'm really glad that I own these things now. So another thing she got me was this pen. I'm not sure where it's from, um, but it does have like the classic like pen, pen gems little gem filled thing and it's just like a twist um so i'm super excited to use that it's gorgeous and i love glittery and sparkly things um she did also get me some chocolate but that's down in my kitchen right now <laughs> and then lastly she got me this little like ceramic or i think it's probably ceramic um like holder like probably like a pen holder that says stay up late and write which is like the story of my life so um super cute i know this isn't necessarily planner related but i didn't want to leave out like the one thing that wasn't um because i really love it and wanted to show it in this haul okay 
Now I have the Big Kahuna Giant order from Scribble Prints Co. This was a Black Friday order. This is the largest Black Friday order I placed this year, as well as I think the largest one I've ever placed. I can't show you everything in this um, haul because there are some gifts that I purchased for some of my friends, and I don't know um, exactly when this video will go up versus when they get their gifts, so hopefully I might even cut this part out because that might be giving too much away. Um, but yeah, so just know this is a huge order so we'll start with the little freebie this is one of the pr freebies um i don't know which pr oh duh sarah it's sarah <laughs> that's the pr girl i was gonna say i just kind of pick based on which one i like the best and to be honest i picked this one for the scalloped label because i love the new glitter scalloped labels i think they're gorgeous then i was um, within the first 100 orders, which I was so happy about because I set an alarm for um, midnight, which is when the sale started. And for whatever reason, the alarm did not go off. And then I like shot out of bed at 1220. Um, and I had fallen asleep like at 1130. And I just like couldn't keep my eyes open. So I was like, okay, I'll just take a 20 minute nap, like set the alarm didn't work. So I was really afraid that I wasn't going to get the sampler pack for the first 100 orders, but I did. So this is the creating and co um, like jumbo freebie kind of thing. I love the bot books again. I almost purchased that entire sheet, so I might have to go ahead and go back. Um, but this is like a very reading um, inspired kit or sheet, and I love the little cozy Oscar. He makes my life. Is this marbled? Is, is Oscar marbled right now? I feel like he is. That is adorable. Okay, so wonderful there. Um, then this is from Pretty on Paper Co., another one of the um, first 100 freebies, and I love this one because it's very fitness related, but it's also like very cheat, cheat kind of <laughs> related because I am not good on fitness, so I love, I want buns of steel, but I also want buns of cinnamon. That's hilarious to me. I could probably put cheat meal on every single day of my life. I love the little pizza, um, so I'll definitely get some use out of this one. This one I absolutely adore and I love how these are all like basically the same color scheme. I don't know if that was planned or not. I'm guessing it was. Um, but this is from Lily's, Lily's Little Cupboard and um, this one's all about decluttering which is something that I'm going to do as soon as my semester is over. I'm going to get my room in order, clean it, declutter it, all that good stuff. Um, so really excited to use some of these stickers. And then lastly for the little freebies, this is from Oh Hello Stationery Co. This paper is, feels so buttery and nice. This is definitely some kind of like vinyl or something, or maybe not vinyl, but like some kind of premium mat. Um, I never know the difference with paper. Um, so yeah, again, not a huge baker, but definitely big on the eating thing. So um, <laughs> at least some of these stickers will definitely be put to use. Um, okay, so let's jump into my giant order. It starts with this little journaling card, which is adorable. Um, I probably don't want to show that. Okay. It starts with this little journaling card, which is adorable. So the first thing that I purchased was this um, Once Upon a Time kind of fairy tale, really cute kit. Um, this is going to be for like the readathon or whatever they call it, some kind of reading thing that they do, which I've never participated in before. But um, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to participate again this year either but I wanted to get the kit a because it's adorable and b because I think it'll be really fun to use it the same week as everybody else even if I'm not reading the same books as them or whatever so these are the full boxes I think they're adorable I'm not going to be able to choose which one um not to use because there are nine um I love the bottom washi it gives me life I would put this bottom washi on every single week if I could um, her paper also feels different. I think that she, I think I remember her talking about changing her matte paper. Um, and it's definitely not like a vinyl or anything, but it's just so soft. I love it. So these are the ombre boxes, the deco and kind of like functional things, some date covers, which are adorable. The, um, half boxes, checklists, labels, all that fun stuff, and then your little things which look 
a bit different. These little monies are definitely different from at least the last time that I ordered from her and um, some headers. So very excited for that kit. Next, I just ordered, like I said, some of the scalloped labels I'm obsessed with. Um, her colors are freaking so vibrant and it gives me life. I don't understand how she gets her colors to be this great. I mean, I'm sure it's a combination of like the printer and the paper and all that good stuff. But um, yeah, I super duper love these. I think this color is my favorite with the gold. I just think it's so gorgeous. So excited to get some use out of those. Next, I ordered the little Harry Potter TVs. If you watch my November haul, you saw I got the little Ravenclaw-inspired bow clips, um, which could easily not be Harry Potter. So this is the this is truly the first like Harry Potter thing I've ordered because it really couldn't pass as anything else. So um, that's kind of exciting because I am watching through the movies with my sister slash best friend, best friend, fresh best friend. Um, don't know who I am anymore. Um, I am watching through the movies with my godmother, my sister, my family, away from my family kind of people. So um, I wanted to get those. This next kit absolutely has to be the one I'm most excited for because these totally look like my dogs. I mean, my dogs are both pretty white, not necessarily this like weird buff gray color, but um, if I like this looks like my dogs like to me um I was not going to buy any more winter kits I cut myself off I was done and then I saw her sneak this kit and I was like well guess we're buying that because there was no way I was passing this up with how much it looks like my little pups so um those are the full boxes the bottom washi and the thing I like about this kit is it's definitely a lot of light colors but there's still like blacks and dark colors incorporated i've realized that i really hate kits maybe not really hate that's strong but i'm not the biggest fan of kits that are all light colors like she still has the black outlines of her hearts and like different things like that like these still have like some darker colors and like her full boxes still have darker colors i just don't like when kits are all light and it looks like the entire page is washed out not the biggest fan and the last couple of things, I did purchase her monthly kit. Um, don't lose your present to your past is such a cute quote. I don't know if it's cute. Maybe it's more deep. I don't know. I like it. Um, so you have this sheet. And I was really excited about this kind of pattern because it does kind of look like the buffalo plaid that we have all been obsessed with. But it's also kind of more of a pink. It feels like kind of transitioning out of that time of year um and I think it looks really cute paired with the florals so I got the monthly kit and then I decided to try something new I've never purchased a notes page kit before um so I decided because it's Black Friday and I have um this discount I'll go ahead and try it for February these circles are for the 2018 Erin Condren um I do really like the idea of having habits that you kind of mark off every day of the month in that way um you have these like longer checklists and I'll probably play with this and make it my own and not necessarily use every single thing here I don't know exactly how I'm going to set it up yet but I just wanted to try it All right, and the last shop I have to show you I am very excited about. Um, I very rarely let myself purchase from this shop just because it is a little bit more expensive. Um, it's not unreasonable pricing, but because they are gold foiled, they are more expensive than um, your typical sticker sheets. And so I just can't always let myself splurge on something so nice. But with Black Friday, I was like, I get the discount, might as well. So as you can tell, I've kind of been through all of this and opened it. So here is the freebie that I received. Um, lots of little cute Christmas things. I love it. Um, and then I will go ahead and show you what I ordered. So I did order um, just three sheets. Um, the first is um, these foiled... Um, they're called Drizzle Dot 
banners. They're basically flags. Um, I got them in gold foil and um, I got the Sophie coloration, which is like one of my favorites because it's very neutral and cute, um, but still, you know, has some color to it. So um, that is what I purchased there. Then I purchased the um, Clever Gal Crafts Classic Heart Stickers. I do have one sheet of her newer heart stickers that is the only Clever Gal Craft sheet I have um, that are like the open concept kind of hearts. Um, they are not a circle. They're like the actual shape of the heart, but I wanted some of the um, classic glittery beautiful hearts. Um, this coloration is called Hot to Trot and it's the original gold foil. And then finally, I adored this um, coloration. This is called the Rosie, and these are just the foiled bow stickers, which I've been seeing a lot of people using lately, and I think they're gorgeous. And again, I just got them in gold. Hey guys, I am back for the third, maybe, portion of this haul. I'm not sure. Um, but these are more Black Friday orders, except for this first one I'm going to show you. I actually ordered, I think, around the beginning of November, and I just think this envelope is so fun. But this order is from Hello Petite Paper, and she is located in Portugal. So it did take a little bit longer to get to me, which is why it's being included in this haul instead of the last one I posted. So the, so the order came with this cute little like card, which is a little snow globe. And then on the back, it is just her Instagram and website. Then um, it came with this little freebie, which is so cute. I love the Coffee Monday sticker. I love everything on this sheet. I think it's super cute. Then I can't remember if... I think I ordered this. I think this was like a little $2 Tuesday. I can't remember though. Um, but this is glossy. The The freebie was on matte. And this is like a little um, just like sampler sheet of different cute little things. So I did get that. And then I got what I believe is called her planner girl kit. So these are the full boxes. I made sure to get a very like... Um, non-season specific kit from her because I wasn't sure exactly when I would get this. Um, it would have come in time for the holidays, but I, I did fill up on holiday kits really fast. So this one is just the full box sheet, which is super cute. Um, the checklist, which I adore. I love the little scallops. Um, and then like some flags, labels, icons. This little weekend banner is super cute and tiny some little things and half boxes um her headers which i think are adorable because it comes with the to do today and odds and ends and then um these little guys are headers and then you get some like um different ones you can use for your sidebar so that is really cute and a good way to be creative then she has two different like bottom washi strips a habit tracker a weekly ombre some washi and then the full checklists. Um, so that is the kit from Hello Petite Paper. This is my first ever order from her. I am very satisfied with it. I think next time I would probably get her glossy um, just because I'm not as big a fan of her matte paper as I thought I might be, but it still is really nice and usable and I will put it in my planner and love it. The next kit is um, my Black Friday order from Caress Press. So it did come with this little sampler sheet, which I believe, yes, this was the Black Friday freebie, which is really cute because it, um, you can use it, you know, throughout the next year. And it has some of the holidays you don't always get, um, stickers for. Like, I feel like Father's Day is not a huge sticker thing, but I think this is super cute because my dad has a mustache, so it reminds me of him. Um, so this is really cute. It's on her wonderful paper that we all love so I really like this then I did get my January monthly from Caress Press I was having a lot of trouble deciding where I wanted my 
um, monthly kit from because I was just struggling. I wasn't loving any of them, but then I did see this one, which was kind of like tucked behind um, I think some kind of like picture because it was the same pattern as like one of her mystery kits So she made it so that you didn't you could choose not to see the listing um, if you're in her shop So I didn't see it at first, but then I looked and I fell in love with it. So this is the extra sheet um, that comes with like the days of the month and then That matches up with the little girl, which is really cute. These are the January headers um along with all of her little icons. There are the date covers, some like tiny little deco, lots of different labels, scalloped labels, these um, strips along with paydays and bill dues and day offs and things like that. Um, and then this is the last sheet and this comes with some full boxes, some more labels, the holidays, this tiny little label, and then the check boxes for your sidebar. So that is what I picked up from Caress Press and I really, really love it. And I don't remember what exactly her sale was, but I know that I got this for pretty inexpensive, which was great. And then the last thing I have to show for this portion of the haul is my order from Two Little Bees. Um, first, it came with this like freebie kind of pack, which I apparently, I thought I was paying attention to what her sales were. Maybe this was a surprise. She probably announced that you would get this kind of freebie pack and I just was not paying attention. But um, it was a really cute surprise when I did open this because this features a lot of my favorite shops. I love Coffee Monsters Co. So you get this freebie with... Um, lots of little emojis, and then this is like a little shopping list, which I thought was so cute because the emoji is like sweating. Um, Once more with love, which if anyone knows what these little guys are for, please let me know because I have no idea. Like they're cute, but I have no idea what I'm supposed to put in there. Um, but this is like a little New Year's themed freebie, which is adorable. Um, this is the actual two little bees one, which I think is so cute that she has it cut out in like the shape of the bow. And those are some really cute deco. A paperella story with all of these different themed planners, which I think is adorable. And then Hello Petite Paper, which is really fun to see with some of her kind of functional things. So, so happy with this little group of freebies. And then I did purchase a kit from her. This is my first order from Two Little Bees, and I'm so excited. Um, it came also with this little bookmark, which I'm assuming was because of Black Friday, and that is super cute, and I've been reading a lot lately, so I'm definitely just going to be using this like in my books because it's adorable. And then this is the kit. I think it's called Sweater Weather, but I'm not totally sure. Um, by the time this video has gone up, I will have done a planner with me with this kit because I am filming that next. So if you're interested in seeing that, it's probably just a few videos back and I will link it down below. But these are the full boxes, um, some deco, some like cutout font headers, some regular headers, flags, um, bows and icons. Um, some smaller heart checklists, a couple like boxes, washi strips, habit trackers, um, just like all kinds of stuff. I think I might have a bit of like a adjustment period with this kit just because there's so much in it that I feel like I'm, especially because I'm new to it, I'm just going to miss everything. Like all of these are like header, like cut out to be like headers. I'm like, I don't know how I should use those versus these headers and like the little things and then she has these like little clipboards um really I think you could easily get two weeks out of this kit if you were a white space planner um which I go back and forth between white space and no white space um depending on the kit that I'm using but um this is the bottom washi which I think is adorable um and then some of these like strips and things um and yeah, so that is that kit. That is everything for this portion of the haul. And I believe I will have more after this, so I will not sign off yet. Hey guys, welcome to the very last portion of this haul. Um, I only have one shop to show you, and that is GP Sticker Studio, so I'm going to get right into it. So the first thing is this Black Friday Super Sampler. This is gorgeous. 
Um, it's mostly just deco and then like a quote and this is on her like matte vinyl paper I believe. Um, but I seriously, this is so beautiful. I had no idea this was coming and when I saw it I was just in shock. So I think I'm gonna, probably gonna have trouble using this just because they're so pretty. I don't want to like screw it up but I am very happy she included this. Then I got two kits. The first kit is Fresh Start. Um, this is like the checklists, labels, habit trackers, bill dues, um, some like three heart checklists, a weekly, some little functional dots and hearts, and then a couple of flags. Um, this sheet has your icons, your like decorative icons, your flags for the um, still has the 2017 because I obviously did purchase it in 2017 and then the 2018 flags, some to do and today headers, some like glitter headers, some labels. Then these are the half boxes and a couple of quarter boxes. And I did get this on glossy so it is her kind of strange like paper with the weird clear backing. Um, this is the bottom washi and regular washi. And then these are the full boxes. I'm obsessed with her photo kits because she does do these like drawings over them. Um, I have no idea if she draws them herself or just takes some like drawing clip art and puts it over photo kits. But I don't really care because either way it's beautiful and so creative. Um, and then the date covers I like that she includes two and especially like with this kit I could use whichever one I choose to use with this kit the other one I could very easily pull into a different kit um, and your deco and then you have odds and ends other like sidebar headers um, some little things and she actually accidentally gave me two of these so I have a surplus of those and then the checklists so I thought because of the green um, I would probably use this in March even though it is fresh start um, March is when it starts to be kind of springtime for me so that could be the fresh start instead of like a new year fresh start um, then this kit is called winter bliss um, same format as the other one so I'm gonna run through it a little bit more quickly but this one is um, very muted colors. These are the full boxes, which again, the photo kits alongside the drawings. So cute. The quote says, baby, it's cold outside. Um, and yeah, this is just like a really muted, pretty winter kit that I will definitely be using this month. Um, the photos are just gorgeous. Um, Unfortunately, I was not accidentally given two of these sheets this time, so I just have the one. I also really like how the black font looks against these colors. It looks very, like, modern, and I don't know. I really like it. So, um, then this is the deco, and again, with the date covers, whatever I choose to use um, in this kit, the other one will be very easily applicable to any other kit, which is really nice. So that is everything from GP Sticker Studio, along with everything for this December haul. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will have another monthly haul up for all of my January purchases at the end of the month or in early February. So I'll see you guys then.